Hey, what's up guys? MGZ here on MGZ's custom mod pack. A lot has happened since I last played, which is, well, last recorded, that is. Um, so if you look down here, I have two picks. This is the original one. Uh, I, you know, kept mining away and I ended up getting auto smelt in Reinforce 5. Uh, skill level is expert. Um... I put the auto repair on there by gathering a ball of moss over in the magical, uh, what is that, the magical forest over there. Um, and I made another pickaxe because uh, everything I pick up gets auto smelted. So that includes if I, you know, mine a piece, a block of coal, it gets smelted in the graphite. And I need coal for right now for power and stuff and other crafting recipes. I'm not ready for big reactors, have nowhere near it enough when my timer started there we go um but so i made this one hoping that it doesn't get auto smelt like this one has i don't use it as much when i don't care if it gets smelted or anything i use this pick um otherwise i use this one for coal and stuff but uh other changes are i think i made these while not recording why can't i move okay that's really weird yeah i made these iron chests uh, I made a, what is that, a couple of iron shields, uh, let's see, what is it, F5, yes, iron shield, uh, I made that cutlass, and for some reason I made another rapier, I don't know why I did, but um, the cutlass is made out of Damascus steel, and the pickaxe, I replaced the heads, they both also have Damascus steel on them, and I got that by accident. Because I don't know those recipes. But uh, I was mining and getting metals and stuff. And I was trying to make uh, bronze and aluminum for the smeltery so I can do so. What is that in there? Why does it look like that? Oh, the shaders is making it transparent. Um, yeah, so you have a little bit of aluminum. And I have a lot of Damascus steel, a little bit of bronze. Uh, and Ag Ag Malin? I don't even know how to say that. And some tin. Uh, I made a few casts. Uh, I moved the furnaces up into the little house. I actually updated Forge. Um, not even really updated Forge. I backed up the pack mods. And then I uh, made a new pack with a new version of Forge. I was trying to run this on a server on my local machine. That way uh, I could free up a little bit of resources because I believe Minecraft, if you have a multi-core uh, CPU, it uh, it runs everything off of one core. And if you run a server on your computer, that runs on one core. And then the client runs on another core, which gives you more room to work with. Um, but I can't figure it out. And if anybody knows or can help me how to get your custom mod pack to run under a server client um, that would be awesome because it's not as easy as just you know getting the forge server files and um, just throwing the mods in there it keeps crashing if I have no mods in there it'll run but then I have no mods to run and if I put all the mods in there it it fails but uh, let's see what are we gonna get in today I do have an idea on what type of house I want to build and I was thinking it might be pretty cool. I want to make a uh, a pentagon. Let me see. Get this floor back in. Yeah, I've been thinking about that for the longest. And yes, don't kill me. I know this isn't the same wood, but I'm tired of stepping over a hole. Um, and to make the pentagon, instead of doing it by hand and counting and all that. Let me see. There should be. There it is. The building guide. So glass and a torch. Need eight pieces of sand, which I don't have. Oh, ooh, excuse me. Do I have any gravel? Yes, I do. Wow, this is really slow. I had the shaders on again. I'm I'm thinking about taking them off uh, until I can get them onto a server where it may help. Now this is a little bit smoother. That's much better. Let me make sure I don't have any sand in there. I still haven't gotten 
my cursor back. I don't know what's going on with that. And uh, me upgrading the pack and moving mods over and stuff. That means I lost my waypoints. I actually almost lost my way home to this place. Which really sucked, so... That was the only time I had to cheat. I had to go in creative just so I could find this place. Because I didn't want to be lost and, you know, die, and, but then not know my way back. And, you know, all that funny business. But whatever, I'm back. I relatively know where things are. So, uh, let's see. I need a stick. Okay, let's make some. Then I have to figure out where I'm gonna live. So that. Oh, I had torches already. Haha. -ha. Oh, not that. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I just did that. It's a uh, glass. There we go. Yeah, I know what shape I want to make it. I don't know how big. Because I was kind of thinking, uh, have it big enough to, so I can have an outer wall and then an inner wall. That way I have like a gap for doing like wiring for, you know, a, uh, applied energistics. And, you know, once I get in the ender IO, you know, have my power conduit instead of actually running it through the floor, I could run it through the walls and have the machines in the walls. I mean, I could do that with any shape of the building, but I'm thinking the Pentagon would be pretty, pretty sweet. Um, what? Who's stepping on what? What is that? What is there to step on? Okay, that's weird. Um, but yeah, I, I may go with that. Uh, depending on how big it is, I'm gonna have to have a bunch of resources. I'll probably do the building off camera just, you know, just to make it easier on you guys. You don't want to sit there and watch me build the whole thing. I, you know, uh, I haven't really thought much of this while I haven't been recording and just, <laughs> just thought, oh, I can make a building out of a Pentagon shape. That would be pretty sweet. And then that was the end of the thought. Let's see. Okay. And I learned in, uh, recent recording, especially during my Dire Wolf 20 pack, this block is not broken. They just changed how it works. It used to be put it down and it would show the ghost blocks immediately. Now it needs a redstone signal to do anything. So let's see, where would I want to live? I'll keep you guys on here for that. Let's see, should I live in the magical forest? Oh, my map is uh, all messed up too. Actually, let me change that before I forget. It's, uh, preset 2, I think. Come on, scroll down. Where's the preview? Oh, no, that's not it. It's preset 1. Preview. Yeah, there we go. And I wanted it to be... My heading... Um, yeah, I like the rectangle look. That's the font. Where is the actual scale? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Cool. All right, so where should I live? I would like a flat area. This is kind of bumpy and I'd have to clear it out and be digging for days. Although my shovel would get way better. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, let's see. What's beyond this? I kind of don't want to move too far because, you know, I mean, I don't have a whole lot, but that is two chests I have to carry back and forth on the dolly. And it's bad enough the dolly gives you, uh, I think it gives you slowness and mining fatigue. I believe so. So if I could find like a, a flat space, because I have a general size that I want to make the Pentagon. I want to make it about at least 30 across on both sides, at least, 
or all sides rather, it, it scales up. Uh, well, there's the village. Yeah, I don't know where I should go. The grove seems pretty cool, but it's got all these height differentials. And I, don't, I don't want that. I need something flat. So I'll either I'll either be back whenever I find uh, I find where I'm gonna live, or I'll be back after the building's built. Um, cause it all depends on what I have to do today. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back. All right. So I think I found it. We are 1000 meters away. So, oh yeah, I didn't grab anything. <laughs> I just wanted to fly, which is still kind of cheaty, but oh, you can even check my log. I didn't log out. See? Just wanted to fly, which is, yes, like I said, still cheating, but whatever. <laughs> my game, my pack, I do what I want. Nah, I'm, I'm going to try not to cheat, but uh, I got tired of walking. I would have never found this. Like I keep showing you, it's over 1,000 meters away, which is 1,000 blocks, which means... Now, if I don't go back in creative mode, I'm going to have to walk over there, maybe make another dolly, grab both chests, and then walk very slowly 1,023 meters. So I'm going to put this here, and you put that on top. I'm surprised I'm able to play without my cursor being there. I still have to figure out how to get my cursor back. Uh, okay, uh, go away for now. Thanks. So, we want cylinder, cuboid, dome, triangle, pentagon. So, let's see. How would that work? Only one side is flat. I mean, based on how the walls are, I can actually... Yeah, like I could stick a machine there and a machine there. That way, if I do have uh, outer walls... You won't see the machines on the outside. I won't have to do some trickery with covers and stuff and only be able to access the machines to the bottom or anything like that. I'll have a gap in between the walls. So let's see how to make it bigger. Okay. Let's, let's see. This would be a pretty big house. Uh, how do you go back? Maybe it's the fact that I don't have an empty hand. Yes. Oh, no, now I'm changing it. Okay, Pentagon. Okay. Smallish, you can make it as a 2x2. Two two. So if I go larger, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And don't worry, I'm going to do this off camera. Um, maybe do 17x17. 17 17, And then bring it in to 15. So let's see. If I do 17 by 17, it would be. Let's just do that. See, when I uh, mine that with that pick, it comes back to me as stone. Which is pretty awesome that way if I actually want stone I'll have it instead of having to smelt it and waste fuel okay so that and then the last block I'm just doing this as an example so then I would bring this in two blocks I hope there's nothing up here that's gonna kill me <laughs> two blocks see now I have that gap and this gap that I'm standing in would be where, like, all the wiring would go. And, uh, and then the machines could be literally in the wall. I don't know. I may even do uh, an inner section. So I might want to go bigger. Yeah, I might want to go by, like, 
32 by 32 and then leave the gap of down to 30 just like this there will be a one gap this would be 32 this would be 31 this would be 30 and then shrink it in all the way down to maybe 20 to about where it is now and then uh or yeah 20 and then down to 18 for the outer wall and then i would have space to do things in the middle have a building in the middle maybe yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do so uh this isn't the end of the episode nowhere close i still have about 25 minutes left but um i'm probably gonna be busy today so i'll see you guys in the next segment of the video which will be happening right now all right so i'm back it's been about let's see last time i recorded was three o'clock it is now nine so yeah six hours later i have the pentagon built i changed the size of the the depth of the walls but here's what the inside looks like all built by hand no cheats no uh builders one no uh redstone exchanger from ender i think it's from ender tech i don't have ender tech installed though you can see on the mini map it's a pentagon that's five sides one two three four five yep and uh the green is uh the grass that is left in between the walls but yeah um i don't know exactly how i'm gonna use this layout like if i'm gonna divide it up into like maybe this will be machinery and this will be something i don't i don't know how i'm gonna split it up as of yet but I'll figure something out. I wish the rain would stop. Guess if I go to sleep, which my bed is still out here. There we go. Let's see. I guess I can put away all the dirt. that away, put these away, I'll keep that, now, what I need to do is find some lava, oops, so I can keep my smeltery going, just for a little bit, I wonder, actually I might not have to, uh, let's see, Oops. Ah. Was it up there the whole time? Yes, it was. Yeah, actually, I can make a sterling generator. I can make a few sterling generators. Where's all the cobble? Oh, right. I used it all. Hmm. Let's go grab some cobble. I'll show you guys around. Uh, where I live. If you remember before, which was a segment, wasn't an episode ago, there was a great wood tree over there. There were trees that looked like uh, that one out in the distance. Actually, it looked like this one. A few of those spread around in the path. Actually, let me give you guys a kind of a bird's eye view. Yeah, that's what it looks like from above. Pretty sweet. I'm thinking about uh, the center area where I have the smelter right now. I'm thinking, make that blood magic. That seems like a cool idea. But right now, I need some cobble. Not much. You know what I should do is start on some Britannia. Britannia is awesome. And this is where I. Uh, mine for not all, but a lot of the cobble and stone for this. As you can see, it's basically empty in here. Uh huh? Would have been smart if I'd have lit it up in here.
Oh well. Let's see, I want to make four of them, so I need 32 pieces of stone. Or cobblestone, rather. Half a stack. Shouldn't be hard. I think this is mastered? Yeah. So it's not going to upgrade anymore, I think, until I get a new uh, head on it. I believe that's how that works. I'm not quite sure. All right. And I thought I slept. Why is it still raining? I could have swore whenever you sleep during the night when it rains, it, the rain shuts off. I thought so. And I don't know why, but the generation of Batania flowers is insane. They're everywhere. So I don't think I'll run out of flowers anytime soon. I actually might take this tip off. Because it's kind of in the way. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Let's make the furnaces. Four. Four furnaces, four pistons. Oh, great. I need more cobble. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Should get a small cobble generator instead of me doing this running around. As you can see, I'm at the top of a very large hill. Well, mountain, as the biome names it. Okay, I need four pistons, so I need at least 16 pieces of stone. We'll see if I'm capable of that, since I used all of it on that. I should have known I'm going to need more. Let me check. What else do I need? And I need it for those. So, if I got four, that's eight of these. Four in each times two times four. That's a stack. If I did that calculation right. If there's four in each and there's two gears per one, that's eight. Then eight no, I did the math wrong. Eight times four, it's another thirty two. I don't know where I got a stack from. That's me doing math too quickly. do I have now? I know I said I wouldn't mine on camera. Most people don't mine on camera, but it's not like I'm looking for something in particular. I'm just grabbing a bunch of cobble. And I could set up a cobble generator, which with Iguana Tweaks installed, I can... That's how you can actually level up your pickaxes without actually doing anything. Uh, if you set up your keyboard to whenever you turn number lock off you can hit the divided by key or the forward slash key and then hit the number zero and that will simulate you doing a left click and in minecraft if you're looking at something that can be what the hell is that uh is dog statue Okay, leaving that one alone. Uh, in Minecraft, if you're looking at something and it can be left click, which is the attack key, it will continuously left click for you. Oops, I didn't mean to do that beep. That's the sound it makes whenever you do that. Okay, I need some wood, which I have tons of. Um, yeah, see, it's the wood from all the trees I've been knocking down. Yeah, that should be enough. Let's see. I need one, two, three. Four. 
four. Uh, then oh, I don't have any redstone, do I? Oh, yes, I do. Cool. I didn't think I did. Uh, I need planks. So this one, two, three, four, and then I need a bunch of stone, which again, thank goodness to iguana tweaks, I could do this. Well, not even just iguana tweaks, the fact that my pick has the uh, auto smelt on it. Just put down cobblestone, mine it, and it gives me stone back. No need to waste coal to uh, to smelt it. Takes a good while, but it's still faster than coal. And I can make it go even faster by adding redstone to this. Had to make sure my phone was on silent. I had a feeling that it wasn't. Okay, so 24, cool. Now where to put these? For now, I'm gonna put them, hmm. Put them, oops. Actually, you know what, no, that's not a bad idea. Put them like that. And then I can have the power come up out the middle for now. This isn't, you know, concrete, definite where these are going to go. I won't even be using these for that long, to be honest. Got tons of coal. Oh, I wouldn't say, t oh, well, hmm. still not tons, but I have enough to put a stack in each one of these. Okay, that's, uh, what is that, 400,000 RF at 20 RF per tick. It's not bad. I do need conduits to get the power out of that. Let's see, low tier conduits, but I need a alloy smelter first. So let's see what that entails. Alloy, whoops. Okay, that's three furnaces, a cauldron, and some iron. Okay, I have the iron. There's the cauldron. Two, three. There's the three furnaces. I need um, some of these. Uh, two redstone. Do I have any gold? Oh, that's a scary question. I think I have gold uh, gravel somewhere. I believe I do. I have these. But I think I need another one just to make one ingot. Oh, right there. Let's see, do I have enough lava to smelt this one thing? I probably don't. Let's see. 95. 80. Oh, it's not even halfway. Uh oh, it disappeared. 50. 35. Okay, I got more than enough to do this one. Yeah, it's done. Cool. So gold is the only thing in there. I got two ingots from that. Oh, bit of bit of a lag spike right there. Okay, I can make my first conduits. I'll just do this for now. I need this. Um, I have the redstone on me. Wait, was it two of these? Oh no, it's just one. Okay. Put that back. So this. Oops. That. 
that. This becomes that. These go there, and these go around it. And that was Facebook. And then the rest of that, and I have my alloy smelter. Now, I could use... Uh, oh, what's the machine called? Um, uh, I have to look up the whole mod in their IO. Sag mill, there it is. Sag mill. Okay, do I have gravel? Probably don't have any gravel whatsoever. I can easily make another piston, though. That's not hard. Um, I could try making another one of these. And wow, that did it all wrong. That goes there. That goes there. Here, here. Another one of those. Oops. That. I hate making one without the other. It doesn't make any sense to do that. Um, iron, where are you? There you go. Just need four. That. I have my piston. Okay, this goes there. That goes there. What is it, iron? Yeah, four pieces of iron. One, two, three, four. There and there. And I just need some flint, which I can get from gravel, but I need uh, what is that? 12 pieces? Oh, and I had furnaces right there. Let's see. I don't see gravel whatsoever. Just making sure I'm not crazy. Okay. Gravel, gravel, gravel. Where can I find you? Wait, wasn't there a bed of gravel I saw up here? Actually, I should go to sleep really quick. I don't want to seem like a punk ass. I can't go out at night, but... I don't have any armor. I think. No, actually I do have armor, but it's only iron. So, it's not like it's Damascus steel or anything. I don't want to seem like I'm untouchable, because uh, I did die. Actually, I died right there. I was in the middle of building... Actually, I was almost done. I didn't have the uh, the floor of my base complete. And um, a witch and her cat, they, they were like glitching out. And the cat wasn't touching me, but it was still hurting me. It's really weird, but oh well. Hopefully they despawn by now, because I didn't actually get to kill the witch. I she, The cat killed me. And uh, when I respawned and went over to the witch to attack after I got my stuff up my gravestone... I couldn't attack her. Like her hitbox was gone. Let's see, is that enough? Eleven. Nope, I need. Oh no, that's enough. And if you heard that ridiculously loud and long vibration, that would be the girlfriend on my phone. <laughs> Oh, and I don't have a door yet, so I'm susceptible to attack. I, I need to do something about that. Let's see. And there we go. So I have... Uh, you no, know for now, I could do this. Hmm. Do that and that, and I can just manually transfer over. Let's check the recipes out on this thing. Can I make Damascus steel with this? Well, oh, wow. It has a 148 recipes. I think I can. Because it's just uh, iron and bronze. Actually, it'd be easier if I just went to check down here. Damascus. Oops. Too many SSSSs. Um, we don't want that. Where's the ingot? Yes, this. Can I do it in an alloy smelter? Well, besides that. 
alloy recipe pulverize iron and pulverize basically uh, bronze but can I put an ingot of do I have it because if I can that would be way 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 awesomer no I don't have any bronze that's uh, tin and silver or is it tin and copper Man, my brain sucks. Let's see. Copper and tin. Okay. So if I take three of these and one, two, three, and then slap that in there, that should do that. Then turn around and grab a piece of iron. Let's see. I got Tinker's alloy. Oh, and I can't put that back up there because of how it was made. Yeah, all smelting. Hmm. I wonder if there's somewhere in the configs I can tell what machines to spit out, what type of alloys. Don't know. Actually, give me those. I'll put those up here. Okay, so I got that going. Oh, I could do these now. Cool. That's pretty awesome. What else in here can I work on? This infusium core and all these things from metallurgy. If I wouldn't have had my pickaxe head and all my tools. Well, not all my tools, but the tools that I use right now. Which is mainly, yeah, my picks. These. If I didn't already have the Damascus steel heads on, on them, uh, I would take metallurgy off because it just adds metal that I don't, I, I don't need them and they don't do anything. Like the hepa, he, he, hepatizon ingot, I think that's how you call it. It doesn't do anything. Like this tool cannot mine anything. It's only used for crafting. But then when you click on its crafting, it doesn't do anything. I guess, uh, What's the mod? Uh, iguana tweaks or something must disable these. Because it is an axe, so it should be able to chop down trees, but none of the axes do anything. So it's like either play with tinkers or you don't get to do anything. So, I don't know. Let's see. You done with that yet? Just about. Yeah, I think uh, between this episode and the next one, whenever that one will come out, as of this recording, the first one hasn't even come out yet. That's always fun. Um, I think I'm going to uh, go mining a whole bunch, <laughs> Get uh, try to get a bunch of metals. I'm going to not use this pickaxe, which, by the way, got auto repair 2 automatically by itself just from using it. That was pretty sweet. Um, I mean, I already had auto repair one on it, but it has auto repair two now and it's mastered. So I have to find a new head for it. And I'm going to go mining a lot with this pick, which won't set, uh, which won't smelt things I gather. So I can bring it here and double it. And then, um, I'm going to work on getting more ender IO machines, maybe big reactors. I don't know. I still have to figure out how I'm going to lay things out in this base. This base is probably the, the biggest base I've built. I usually build them in like squares and then branch them out into rectangles. But, um, actually I have to get rid of this. I'm definitely going to go mining. Um, of course with mining, I'm probably more than likely going to get more indoor IO machines that I need. But, um, that's going to be in between episodes, but the next episode may, I may start Batania so I can get my magnetization ring. Um, I can get some, uh, mana still armor going, maybe get a little bit of mana generation. Um, I was thinking about putting blood magic out here, but now it seems like, um, uh, Batania, this would be a great place for Batania. Maybe cover this 
in glass, in quite clear glass. Let me see, is that the... Yeah, quite clear glass. It has uh, borderless textures. So, you know, go out, get a bunch of sand or get a bunch of cobble and then come back here and I can uh, sag mill it up and then uh, put in the alloy smelter that'll make glass. Cover this all with glass so when it rains I don't have to worry about the particles hitting the ground slowing me down. Um, but yeah, I think Batania seems to be pretty cool. Do I have any ender pearls? That's, that's a question. Oh, good. I can make a couple of elevators. There's tons of sheep around here, too. It'll make, maybe I'll build downstairs after this and make it this exact same shape, but it'll be hollow throughout. We'll see. But my timer has just run out. I'm MGZ. I'll see you guys in the next episode of MGZ Plays, his custom mod pack. See you.